What's up guys, it's Haley Bailey and today we are going to be doing another Make It Monday as you can see. But for this Make It Monday, you guys wanted a DIY flower stress ball. So that's what you're gonna get. So obviously for this you're going to need flower. I have my flower right here. Um also you're going to need a spoon, a balloon. Um to make it easier, you're gonna need to a funnel and a water bottle. Uh, just to make it easier. I'll uh, show you guys why um, when we get to that step. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so first you're going to want to take your balloon, and I already did this to mine, but you're just going to want to <sighs> blow it up <sighs> a and then inflate it. <sighs> A couple of times because that just makes it better so once you've done that a couple of times i'll show you what you need to do next okay so what you're going to do next is you don't even need your balloon what you really need is the water bottle the funnel and your flower and your spoon so you need everything else except your balloon so you're going to take your funnel put it in your water bottle obviously it has to be empty then you're going to take your spoon and then put the flower inside the funnel and start funneling all the flour inside the water bottle. You might be wondering um, why can't you just do this into the balloon at first? Well, I'm going to show you why because it makes it a lot easier to just do it in the funnel first. Do it in the funnel then put it in the water bottle. So I actually need to go to the toothpick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so okay, so to make your life a whole lot easier, when it gets clogged, just stick a toothpick down in it. Because that's the reason why you don't want to use the funnel for the balloon, is because it gets clogged. So to stop it from getting clogged, really all you have to do is use a toothpick for everything, except for scooping it in there. But also... That just takes um, a lot of more time trying to just fill it in the balloon instead. So that's why we're using the water bottle. But, okay, so that's all my flour and my funnel. So now I'm going to go ahead and just fill it up a little bit more. Also, if you don't have toothpicks, that's okay. Just use something. Sorry about the noise right now. Okay, so as I was saying, if you don't have a toothpick, you just use something skinny. So Okay, so once you've done that, let me just try again. So once you put all your flour in your water bottle, you're gonna stretch the balloon top over the water bottle like that, and then you're just going to funnel in your flour by just shaking it. And if you don't have enough flour, you can always add more in your balloon and then add more. You can always just add more. So, you just gotta keep shaking it until all your flour is pretty much in the balloon. Which all mine pretty is, and mine isn't very full, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this until it's full. Choosing a video to watch while I finish this. Amazing, I recommend you should too, but keep, keep on this video, you know? So I recommend not filling it a lot, because then it makes it more, like, squishy and moldable. When the tube gets full and you want to like add more flour, I just take it off, blow it, and then slowly let the air out because you don't want to get flour all over the place. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm filled, so now I'm going to bring my flour bucket under this and I'm going to blow it up. Then unblow it and then I'm going to try it. So, if you guys don't know how to try a balloon, you take your two fingers, wrap it around, and then slip the bottom into it. 
So now I have this one done and here it is. So I'm actually going to, one, I'm going to go get my scissors first of all. I got my scissors, a scissor, and now I'm going to cut this bottom end off, cut kind of close to the knot. So, go ahead and do that now. Okay, there we go. Now it's like tied off. So now this is, has flour on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go rinse this off. So now I wiped it off, so I'm just going to dry it. I mean, I washed it off, so now I'm just going to dry it. And here we go. We have our DIY flower stress ball. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's a thing. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.